Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout. I have a couple of layouts for Bramble Fox. Um, Happy New Year by the way. Um, today uh, for Bramble Fox I'm using the December Fox box, I'm using the January Fox box um, and I'm also using a set called uh, What a Year. Um, so three different perspectives from three different sets today um, and I'm working on layouts from my December daily so or my December album. So um, basically I've had a bit of a shocker this year when it comes to my December album. Normally I've done all of my foundation pages way back in November um, and I spend December just popping my photos in really relaxed. Um, this year has not worked out like that. I don't really know why I've had such a shocker but I have um, and uh, to date which is like the 1st of January the day I'm uh, recording this um, I have uh, still not finished my foundation pages <laughs> let alone started putting photos and journaling in um, so I'm in the unique situation here where um, for the days that I'm doing today so I particularly wanted to use uh, some of the Bramble Fox sets uh, for days 30 and 31 um, being the end of the year um, and um, uh, I'm in the unique situation where I have got my photos already, um, but I haven't done the foundation pages. So I, that has never happened before. I always do foundation pages and then add photos later. Um, so this is um, quite strange, uh, spending time um, uh, doing these pages that I'd already got photos chosen for. So yeah, it was it's a bit of a strange process for me. Um, so anyway, it is what it is and I'm just gonna get on with it. So um, day 30 um, is the day that I watched the Call the Midwife um, Christmas special. Um, it's my favorite program. Um, I used to be a huge Downton Abbey fan and I've always loved period dramas. Um, so, um, Call the Midwife is a real guilty pleasure. I absolutely love it. Um, and uh, no one else in my house watches it. The children are too young. My husband's not interested in the slightest. Um, so I had to find a time where I could sit down or go off by myself and watch this um, all by myself with no interruptions. Um, so that's been quite challenging. It was on on Christmas Day and it's the 30th by the time I managed to sit down and watch it. Um, so um, basically the photo on the left um, is a collage print of a few scenes that I grabbed from just from Google um, of that Christmas special so I put them they weren't big enough to print as a six by eight um, so I took a whole bunch and then made them into a collage um, and printed it on just regular cardstock on my uh, printer at home it's a laser printer I will possibly get this reprinted um, on proper photo paper by a printer um, but for now um, I have just done it on my regular cardstock and I have left a blank section in the bottom right corner so I can write my journaling in there. Um, over um, on the I'm working right now on a an insert um, so I spent some time writing a summary of 2020 well that was quite a job I tell you <laughs> certainly been an interesting year. Um, so I have just created a text box in, um, I use Publisher, but you could do the same thing in Word, um, and I wrote all about um, 2020. Um, I wanted to use the title What a Year, and I wanted to um, include some information about the pandemic. So I mean, it's it's in everything, it's in all um, of my photos, it's in all of my stories. You know, we're at home this year because of the pandemic. Um, I've scrapbooked a lot about it throughout the year, although more about how it's affected us rather than how it's affected the world. Um, but I thought a brief summary of the last year would be good. Um, in terms of COVID. So not about me and my life, but about what 2020 held for everyone. Um, so it is basic details about what happened. It's very brief compared to some of the other summaries I have seen, um, but I only had limited space. I could have gone to the other side, but um, I decided to keep it to this one side. So I just um, typed it. Now I'm planning to handwrite all of my journaling this year. Um, but um, this one I wanted to type because I wanted to get it right. I knew I was going to need to edit it uh, as I wrote it. Um, and um, yeah, so, and I wanted to make sure it fitted in as well. And looked 
Uh, so yeah, it is um, printed, uh, it's, it's typed and printed onto a piece of white cardstock. I literally ran basil cardstock through my printer. I just cut a piece to A4 um, and then ran it through as normal. Um, and then I cut it down to size. So it is about three and a half by eight inches tall. Um, and um, I really wasn't sure how to go about making the holes in it. Um, Obviously, I mean, I know how to make holes, <laughs> but like with a crocodile, but I wasn't sure if I should trim it down and stick it onto a, um, a separate piece to make the margin uh, look right, um, or if I should leave it white. So in the end, I left it white, um, and I'm pleased I did. I think it looks nice. I was worried that it would look wrong, because of the wide border on the left so I was really worried about that but um, it looks fine um, I have added some red pom-pom trim down the side and I have put a piece of um, uh, cocoa vanilla um, pattern paper on the back and I'm leaving the back plain um, apart from the pattern paper obviously um, I have fussy cut out some flowers um, and then I have decorated that insert um, with those flowers and I add a few other bits and pieces later on as well and of course I've headed it up with what a year perspective I really like how it looks it's quite subtle white on white um, it's a it, I wanted it to feel like a serious page rather than all over all out Christmassy you know my normal cluttered busy style I wanted it to be about the words um, so um, and what a year obviously is the most perfect touch of that. So I feel that I achieved that with that little insert there. Um, I was gonna put it at the beginning of the book, but I decided it would be better um, at the end as a, almost like a summary. I mean, this it would the way that it um, is written, apart from the last sentence where it says about bring on 2021, um, if I had left that out, it would have worked at the beginning of the book as well, but I decided that it was better at the end um, and the reason for that is a practical reason. So it's because um, I, because at the beginning of the book, the w because my book is too full, um, the spine, uh, the, it means that the top pages sometimes get a bit bent. Um, and because it's a, a narrow page, I didn't want it to be uh, really bent. So I had like I had a tag at the beginning of my album last year, and it's really bent and looks a bit rubbish now. So that's why I wanted to keep it flat because it is quite an important. Uh, part of this year of course um, so just adding a few more um, stars and things to that now obviously there's not a lot of room on this page so there wasn't much room to put embellishment so just tiny tiny things so a few there from the phrase stickers from uh, Crate Paper Hay Santa um, over on the left hand side I've now just covered it up but um, I on my collage print I've added a pom pom frame um, and a few embellishments and at the bottom where I've left a um, an area for journaling um, I've also added a lovely pink bramble fox star as well so um, so yeah so anyway moving on to the right hand side uh, which says uh, which is going to say goodbye 2020 so that is my focus perspective for this layout um, this this side um, and um, I've got a split page protector there you can see it's two six by four pockets um, and I have a you know a top section and a bottom section so the bottom section is going to hold my photo again really strange having <laughs> my photos already uh, when I haven't done the foundation page I literally never do it like this. Um, so I had this idea that I would put the photo at the bottom and then I would put a piece of pattern paper with houses all over it at the top because obviously we have spent a lot of time at home this year. And then I would use my Goodbye 2020 uh, perspective title that's from the December Fox box. Um, I thought that I could put that on top of the page protector. And I like the idea of it um, fitting you know sitting over the top of the photo um, and the um, pattern paper as well but when I put it on it really didn't look right and that's because it's a really open perspective and obviously you can see through all the gaps in the letters there's also you can and then you could really see the top of my photo and the gap between the top of my photo and the piece of pattern paper above it um, so I decided to mount it onto some red cardstock um, and cut it out 
and that way it kind of gives you a solid fill in the background um, and it means that I can put it on top of anything and I can't see the details um, underneath it so that that was uh, what I decided to do there um, now because of the way this page protector is set out um, I uh, if I because the front the opening is on the front um, so if I stick the perspective on top of the page protector that means I will not be able to I will not have any access um, to the photo and the things in the bottom pocket because I will be effectively gluing it closed um, so I just need to make sure that I finish this um, front and back <clears throat> before I put the perspective in place so that I don't inadvertently seal the pocket without finishing off the layer inside <laughs> which is really something that I might do um, so <clears throat> I have to think about the back as well so this is day 31 um, there's no more days in December tomorrow well t today is New Year's Day um, so there is no more going into this project after day 31 um, so I need to finish off that back page now sometimes I put um, something pretty there sometimes I leave it plain um, this year I decided to put some uh, patterned vellum um, just behind the photos so that it's finished um, but it doesn't have anything on it doesn't have any embellishments on um, so that's what I've decided to do there um, just going to sort that out in a moment um, at the bottom of my photo um, I've got a little arrow that says 2021 that is from the January Fox box again I'm going to stick that over the top of the page protector so um, the reason I'm doing that is so that the photo uh, remains flat so if I put in a bulky embellishment inside my page protectors which the perspectives are quite thick um, it means that my page protector won't sit flat so sticking them on top of the page protector works really quite well in that respect and you just don't get as much of the glare from the page protectors as when you have something uneven inside them. Um, so that's what I'm going to do there. Um, I've also just added a snowflake uh, to that bottom left corner as well. Um, that is um, a little wooden snowflake, a uh, white wooden snowflake uh, and the lovely Morag um, sent me something for Christmas um, and that was part of the packaging. So thank you for that Morag. It absolutely you had to go in my December album so um, that is there um, okay so just getting those two items stuck in place um, unfortunately one of the prongs on my snowflake broke so I'm just having to glue that back together um, it's fine because it's being stuck to something so it won't, won't come apart again hopefully um, I fussy cut a couple of the houses in and added them to the bottom right of the photo they are inside the page protector not on the outside um, and now I can f add to my top pocket and uh, get finished off there. So I want to add some journaling to the top pocket. I love those houses. I was, you know, thinking about leaving it completely plain. Um, but um, I wanted to just write in there what we did on New Year's Eve. We didn't have a great New Year's Eve, to be honest. We stayed in, of course, as did the rest of the world. Um, <clears throat> but um, we were planning to sit down and watch a family movie and my two older children just played up and played up and played up and we ended up not watching the end of the movie because it was just such an unpleasant not fun experience so uh, we ended up going and doing different things which is a bit of a shame really um, because we had high hopes for a fun evening but uh, there you go um, real life hey so that is the story I'm going to write um, on those strips there um, and uh, you know because it is you know things don't always work out as planned okay so uh, and that's fine that's fine it's life it's real life um so uh, so yeah so i i wanted to include that journaling i didn't need to because obviously i'd got journaling about what a year on the previous page on the insert um so i could have just not written anything and left the houses on show on the top pocket but because i generally write about what i do every day in december um i didn't feel that i could um not put anything um, so I decided that I would include that story even though it's not a very fun one <laughs> um, okay so I've just added some white strips to that um, piece of pattern paper at the top um, 
and uh, I'm now adding those bits to the outside of the page protector. So I've got the lovely Goodbye 2020. I've got a red clock piece of ephemera. I've got my number 31, just adding a flare badge there as well. And at the top, I've added a gold open star, um, also by Bramble Fox, of course. Uh, it matches really nicely with the Arrow 2021 at the bottom. Um, so um, yeah, I feel this is a really good you know final page in the album there's a nod to 2020 and a nod to 2021 um and our new year picture is there as well so um so yeah so that is um basically uh, me done so what i'm doing now just um basically i because those journaling strips were going to be tricky to get right especially as the embellishments are on the outside of the page protector not on the inside um it was just i just had to make sure i got them in the right place so what i did was i um tacked them in place with a bit of tape made sure they were right so i could move them around and then when i was happy with the positioning i distressed the edges and then stuck them in place properly i also then sewed them on the sewing machine as i, and I sewed around the edge of the card as well okay and that really is uh, me done i'm just going to pop those pages into my album um, so you can see there the uh, two page protectors are in and the insert just sits in as well and that's it done. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed these December album layouts. Um, they're actual layouts, not just found not just foundation pages today. So, uh, so yeah. Um, okay. Make sure you check out the amazing goodies in the Bramble Fox store. There are still loads of wonderful winter items there. Um, okay. Thank you very much for joining me. That was Nikki Rowland for Bramble Fox.